Ugg here with Two Salt Travel and today I want to show you how to tie the Jig Head Karate Leech. Uh, this one is in uh, a size 8 in purple, uh, but you can also tie them up in wine or I like to use a, a darker purple sometimes. Uh, black works good or you can also use an, a dark olive color if you like. Um, these, the, these patterns work great in still water. Um, I'll anchor up my boat and uh, fish this thing under a bobber just right off the bottom and sometimes uh, when I'm float tubing I'll kick around and give it a slow troll while I fish it under the bobber. Uh, so next let's take a look at how to tie one up. Alright so we start by uh, putting a uh, Tiemco uh, 403 barbless jig hook uh, in the vise and this one's a, a size 8 and then uh, I'm going to add the bead to it and this is a slotted tungsten bead um, it's the 5 30 seconds and then once I get that seated just right I can put it back in the vise and I'm ready to go okay so now I'm going to cast on uh, with the thread and I use a um, Ultra Thread, this is the 140 in purple. And just cast that on a little bit and then cut off your tag in. Now build a thread body back to the um, tail. And basically, I want to just kind of go back here using touching wraps and tell them about an eighth of an inch. Uh, from the point and next I'm going to use some strung marabou uh, these are the blood quills in purple and these things are, are pretty gnarly so you're gonna have to clean them up a little bit I like to take this uh, material at the base of the feather and just kind of peel that back and, um, and prep the feather as best you can uh, to get rid of some of those kind of clumpy feathers and those ones that have a lot of a lot of fluff to them uh, you know basically something like that and so I've got one here that I prepared earlier and uh, I want to tie in a, a sparse tail so I just want to grab about half of these fibers on one side in my finger and then I can kind of fold them over and sort of roll those together like so and then it, it's not quite enough so I'm going to also use the other side of that feather just kind of grab these guys here and uh, just kind of roll them together as best as I can and then combine those two clumps together and then I can I can pick out some of these really long fibers and just sort of get those out of there like so until I've got somewhat of a uniform tail that's not too uh, bulky that's gonna I try and just sort of make it sort of like it's going to be um, you know sort of about the same thickness as the body material and then on the length I want to just go about you know one and a half length of the hook so right there I'll measure that off and then I'll tie that on with one loose wrap to bind it down and then I'll do a few more tighter wraps back and then I can cut off this excess right here. Okay, at this point I like to put in a little lead wire so I'm going to grab some some pretty thin lead wire. This is a .01 lead and I'm just going to tie that in with touching turns um, going from the tail back up to the bead and when I get close to the bead I want to stop with just I want to just leave a little depression right there uh, so I can put some of my material in there 
And then let me get rid of this last little bit here. I don't want to come out. I can get rid of this tag end like so. And then I can advance the thread forward and I just want to build up over those thread wraps. When I get to the, the front here, I can build a little ramp um, so that the thread will go back up onto the lead wraps. And then I just want to cover up those lead wraps with this purple thread. Because uh, the body of this fly is going to be clear tubing. And so we want to make sure that we see that purple color uh, through there. And then if I get back here, I have a little, a little uh, area I want to fill in right there. So I can just kind of fill that in and I'll keep covering up this body. I want to keep it slender as possible, but I also want that purple color um, underneath the, the tubing, the clear tubing. All right. Once I get back to the tail again, after I've covered that up, I'm going to take some, um, some red crystal flash and I'll double this over the, the thread here and then I can tie that in on one side and then I like to cut it off about you know, a little, not quite as long as the tail, like an inch I can go to this other side and tie in as well. And cut that off just short of the tail. Okay, the next thing that goes on is the body, uh, which is this standard clear tubing. Um, it's just small clear tubing. And I want to tie this in as close to the tail as I can. I don't want a, a lot of material uh, building up on top of where the body's going to go. So just trying to get that on there. One loose and then a couple tight. A couple tight there. And then advance the thread forward. So just behind the bead. And then I can cut off this excess tubing. Now I'm ready to wrap this forward. And so I'm going to wrap this forward by kind of stretching it just a little bit. And then I want to do touching wraps forward. Just building up a nice little segmented body and you can see that purple through there which is nice and when I get up here to the ramp I just want to be careful I might kind of pinch that down as I make the turn because I don't want it to kind of fold over itself and then I'm going to lash that down with just a few turns the thread and then cut that off close. Um, if you want to at this point too you can kind of take your thumb if you sort of mash down the tail a little bit you can kind of splay that out real nice. And then the next thing we want to do is, is put a wing on it and um, so I showed you that feather that I cleaned up here. Basically what you do want to do is just grab it by the tips and pull down some of those fibers in the middle of the feather and then cut those the tip off of this feather so you have something that looks like this now you can take that and kind of pinch it forward like this and you've got a nice sparse wing in fact that might be even just too much too many fibers so here, I'm going to cut this I'm going to pull some of these fibers off of there just because I don't want it too, too big and then you know, pinch that forward and you want your wing to go about halfway down the tail and we're going to tie this onto the bottom of the hook since this rides 
hook up, this jig head rides hook up. We want to tie this on the top. And so I put that in there like so. Loose turn to kind of lash it down. And then a couple of tight turns to hold it in there. And cut this stem off as close as you can at the bead there. And then you can kind of cover up some of that material there. And now we're ready for the whip finish. I do like a six turn whipped finish with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll do another, you know, four or five turn, whip turn finish like so. And then finish it off with a little bit of super glue. Just kind of paint that on there. And that is the Jig Head Karate Leech in purple, size 8, with tungsten. Thanks.